I recently snapped the mounting part of my microphone for my camera. It's basically like the part where it connects to the camera. I just left it in my bag and it absolutely snapped. So I'm here to grab some super glue to hopefully be able to just salvage it. Okay, so now let's see if we are able to use this super glue to fix this situation going on right here. This is the base of a Rode video mic go and it basically just snapped off. So I'm going to try to reattach it with that super glue. Let you know how it goes. So it is the next day right now and last night I was unfortunately not able to get this super glue to work out and stick to the uh, like Rode video mic to essentially get it to bend it back together. So what we're faced with now is we need a microphone and I only have a few options. I can't ship one because we're going to Houston tomorrow. So I think I need to go to Best Buy and see what they have available. Looking for another Rode mic. I need to get my hair cut today at some point because... Yeah, I'm not trying to look all sloppy when we go out to Houston. And then, yeah, I need to pack all my stuff. So we have a lot to do today. I'm going to take you guys along for it. Let's go. But check out what just came in. Full power. It's essentially just pure 1.3 dimethyl millimeter HCL, which is DMAA, if you didn't know. So basically, I don't know how in the world James from Rock Bottom has these, but he has them. And I've been looking over the entire internet. Like, I've been scouring every website for just straight DMAA capsules because I love to on like PR days to conjunct that with my gorilla mode just for like an insane punch and just like focus and all of that. It's not to be used every day by any means because you'll become very desensitized. But yeah, rock bottom seemed to be like the only place in the freaking continental United States that had DMAA for sale. Just, just in capsule form, no other ingredients. So I'm going to be trying these out when we go to Houston, see if we can Maybe hit a PR on some lift. I don't know. I'm not that heavy right now, so it might not be able to happen, but 
And I guess James also threw me some freaking samples of protein, which might actually come in clutch because when we travel, it's like kind of hard to get your protein in all the time. So I might actually be using those. Thank you, James, for throwing those in there. Okay, so here's what my hair looks like before the haircut. It's getting a little bit long. I'm just gonna go in and get the back and sides kind of trimmed up more or less just like a taper. Like not really trying to take off too much length on top. So I was just walking in to get my hair cut and this is what's on the door. Looks like they're having a mental health day, whatever that is. So yeah, might have to go elsewhere or just do without a haircut. So now the plan is to head to Best Buy and see if I can get a micro SD card for my new GoPro and then go ahead and see if I can get a new microphone as well because this one just isn't functioning properly by any means. This is the one that I just had and broke. The video might go. And then this is the Pro, but the Pro Plus is automatic power, so. No, I don't really want to forget like to turn on my mic before I record, but I honestly don't know if that's worth $70 either though. Ended up deciding on the Pro Plus just because I was worried about always having to turn on that battery switch all the time. Now we have to pack our freaking bags because we're going to Houston. Well, Dayton first, but then Houston. Okay, so I just slapped on the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So hopefully you guys should be able to hear some sort of like audio quality change. That would be the goal. Heading into the mall to grab some vans real fast. I'm just replacing like one of the same pairs I already have. The black and white ones, those ones are my favorite. The ones with like the cushion on the side. I don't know what they're called, but I'm grabbing another pair of those right now. And then, and then we will start packing. Running a little bit behind here. Hopefully we're not late. <laughs> These are the ones we're going for. New vans acquired. So these gorilla mode tubs are just a little bit too big for the plane. So I'm just gonna scoop it out into here, just like just the powder. Hopefully that flies with security, I don't know. This looks so freaking sketchy, look at that. Just some powder in a bag. I just went ahead and wrote pre-workout on it. I don't know if that's gonna work, but hopefully it flies. We are all set. So it's currently 9.30 p.m. and our flight leaves at 6 a.m., which means we probably need to leave the house at like 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. And I'm still in Columbus, not Dayton, so running a little bit behind. I'm just gonna hurry up here, pack my bags, and then hit the road. I don't know why I'm out of breath right now, probably because I've been running around the house, but yeah, see you guys in Dayton. What's up, guys? So it's currently 2.37 in the morning right now. Just freaking got up, middle of the night but I have to go drive to Dayton so that we can head out for Houston. I just decided to stay home because it was getting late and I still had to grab a few things. So yeah, I getting up real early. Let's get out of here, man. So I've been ordered cars. I'm just gonna check the oil levels right here before we head out just to make sure that it's gonna make it for the whole hour and a half trip to Dayton. School is out when the booze is up when the sun is down the we are here, baby. Let's go to Atlanta. Currently 4 47 in the morning. <laughs> It's so early. Like one hour sleep, oh yeah. This kid has his feet out in the airport right now. Like, bro, do not wear socks. They took my stuff. Bro. I don't wear socks. Who wears socks? What is sand? Dude, who wears sandals in the airport? You act like we're going to Houston or something. Like a warm state. <laughs> Over to the fat lady sings. I owe you a trip cause we 